Good morning, second grade. I hope we're ready for reading. Um, before we do anything, I want to review your review words here with you. <clears throat> Say them with me. We have quivered and tar. We have the word bothering, shelled, and counter. Okay. Now, you had been reading last week. We were reading Kate Kangaroo, and we were talking about... Um, what she was supposed to be doing. She was supposed to be going to find tar because they were fixing their what? Roof on their house, right? Okay. And instead, Kate found a nice shady tree. And what did she do? She took a nap. Oh no. So she is again, not doing what she's supposed to be doing. Um, turn in your reading books to page 169. That's the only page we're doing today. Um, I'm taking this slow, one page at a time. Um, let's go ahead and look at the picture and what's going on. So I see dad and brother Kip, right? I see dad's on top of the roof holding a bucket. Kip is on what? A ladder, very good. And I see them starting to <clears throat> fix the roof, but what is starting to happen? It's starting to rain, right? Okay. And if you remember last week, um, on the bottom of page 168, and you don't have to flip there, I'm just um, walking you through because we've been off for a few days. When Kit got back to the house, Dad began to put the tar on the roof. Just as he was about to put tar above Kate's room, the last of the tar dripped out of the bucket. So dad is hoping that Kate is pulling her weight and going to be getting the tar because they're running out and it's starting to rain, right? Let's go ahead with our pointer finger and read each line, follow along with me, and then your job's gonna be to read it again on your own or read it to mom, read it to dad, read it to a stuffed animal, it doesn't matter, just read it out loud um, another time after we've done reading this together as a class because the more we read and the more you practice, the better of a reader you will become. So, point your finger. Dad. First line. Dad waited and waited for Kate. But she did not bring her bucket of tar. Uh-oh. We will not be able to put tar above Kate's room if she does not come soon said dad then I see a little break there and that's the start of a new paragraph just then a raindrop splashed on his nose and another one fell into the empty bucket dad climbed down the ladder he and Kit rushed inside as the rain fell harder and harder. Couple questions for you. Uh, how do you think dad feels? I bet he feels a little sad about Kate. I think he feels disappointed. He probably feels let down because he was counting on her to bring the tar. And now what's happening? Uh-oh. It's, gonna, it's starting to rain and they're not going to have enough tart to put over Kate's room. So what could happen if they didn't have enough tar and now it's starting to rain? What do you think is going to happen to the roof? Hmm. If you're guessing that it might fall in or it might get worse, those are probably really good assumptions. Those are really good guesses. So tune back in. Uh to the next video and we'll find out what happens on the next page. And that's all for now. Don't forget to reread this again on your own out loud. Bye for now.